Good afternoon. My name is Scott Sivo, and I'm the 5-8 principal here at Shelburne Community School, and it's my pleasure to welcome you all to our 2022 award ceremony. This ceremony is a remote celebration of the class of 2026. It allows us, without gathering families and students indoors unnecessarily, to celebrate some of the individual excellence demonstrated by members of our graduating class. It is our pleasure to be able to share this presentation with you and your families as we look forward to handing out each and every physical award later this evening at our graduation ceremony. The remote nature of this event allows us to share memories, photos and videos and music in a way that would be impossible at our planned outdoor ceremony. This ceremony is a remote celebration of the class of 2026. It allows us without gathering families and students indoors unnecessarily to celebrate some of the individual excellence demonstrated by members of this graduating class. It is our pleasure to be able to share this presentation with you and your families as we look forward to handing out the actual physical awards this evening during our graduation ceremony. The remote nature of this event allows us to share memories, photos, videos, and music in a way that would be impossible in our planned outdoor ceremony. For all of these reasons, we are thrilled that you've decided to join us to celebrate these wonderful students together. Many of the awards and honors we will hand out during the first portion of today's ceremony are long-standing traditions here at SES. Some represent singular accomplishments or positive habits. Others memorialize community members that we have either lost or who have made an indelible impact on our school community. A slow stroll down the middle level hallway will help you to understand the history associated with many of these awards. You will find plaques memorializing the names of award recipients and you will also see photographs of past winners. It is important to take the time to honor excellence, hard work, and service to one's community and I am thrilled that you could all join us on YouTube to celebrate the outstanding accomplishments of our students. Recipients of these honors have been identified by the faculty and staff of the Shelburne Community School, not only for their achievements during this school year, but for their kindness, dedication, and commitment to excellence throughout their respective careers at SCS. With all of that said, the class of 2026 will not be defined by these awards, more important than individual honors is the sense of community fostered by this group of eighth grade students. As a collective, they've led our school by their actions and their good deeds, by their willingness to serve as role models, upstanders, and leaders. The impact of this class on our school is so much larger than any individual accomplishment. I want each and every student to understand that whether you walk out of this ceremony with an award or not, you are loved and appreciated in this community. I'll have more to say about that at tonight's graduation. I hope you'll all feel that more deeply than ever before after experiencing tonight's ceremony and seeing the outpouring of love and support you will surely feel throughout it. This experience is going to be special and it should be special because you've earned it. To all of our eighth grade students, congratulations. With that said, let's get on with the awards and the recognitions. Today, each of our traditional awards will be introduced by 7th grade student council members Ava O'Brien, Jillian Upton, Cassie York, and Katherine Lewis. We will also be joined by some special guests from our faculty and staff who will help me in announcing our award recipients. Ava, Jillian, Cassie, and Katherine, take it away. Scripps National Spelling Competition. The National Spelling Bee began in 1925 in Kentucky with just nine contestants. Over 85 years later, the E.W. Scripps Company continues to sponsor the National Spelling Bee, which is a competition between individual state spelling bee champions. At SES, our school-wide spelling bee champion completes at the Vermont State Bee, whose winner goes on to compete at the National Bee. We are proud to recognize this year's Shelburne Community School Scripps Individual Spelling Bee winner. After 14 rounds, this year's winner of the National Script Spelling Bee held here at SCS is Queen Tyler. Congratulations. Congratulations, Queen. Unified Sports Award. 
Unified Sports is a program directly associated with Special Olympics Vermont. With sports as its foundation, it creates experiences and peer partnerships which support school climates of acceptance and inclusion. This award is new this year to SES. It was created to honor one such peer partnership that has been forged over time and through Unified Sports, which has made our community stronger. These two eighth grade students have shown their dedication to Special Olympics since third grade. It has been a joy to coach them over the years and we wish them the best at CVU and in their future experiences with Unified Sports. This year's Unified Sports Award goes to Luke Donahue and Griffin Hansen. The Avid Reader Award. This award is presented in recognition of students who demonstrate a love of literature and are passionate and avid readers. Literacy and a love of literature is perhaps the greatest gift a public education can provide a student. It is so deeply ingrained in the mission of our public schools and is the underpinning of our free society. The winner of this year's Avid Reader Awards are Desmond Lee and Blair Walsh. Student Athlete Award. The recipients of this award are being recognized for leadership and sportsmanship demonstrated through their participation in the SES athletics program. These students have shown dedication to athletics through multiple SES teams. They are strong leaders within their teams and always re represent the SES community in a positive way. This year, the recipients of the Student Athlete Award are Cooper Guerriere and Reese Kingsbury. The CY Award. CY is the abbreviation for Connecting Youth in Champlain Valley School District. Every year, CY gives an eighth grader from each Champlain Valley School an award for outstanding leadership in prevention. This award is designed to honor students who have been actively involved in their school's lead prevention group, have made healthy choices, and have been role models for their peers. I'm very proud to present this year's winner of the CY Award here at Shelburne Community School and that is Rowan Natale. The Teacher's Award. This award is in recognition of students whose successful improvement can be attributed to such qualities as a positive work ethic and attitude, motivation, perseverance, and team spirit. This year, we have three recipients of the 2021-2022 Teacher's Award representing positive work ethic, positive attitude, and teamwork. They are Malachi Gibbs, Caden Fisher, and Ayla Hughes. David Orr was a social studies teacher at SES who is best remembered for his outstanding teaching in the middle grades. The David Orr Memorial Award. This award is in recognition of students with a sense of humor who enthusiastically study history and current events to become informed about what is happening in their community and the world. As a former social studies teacher myself, who only aspired to become an educator due to the enthusiasm and passion sparked by teachers and writers of history, it is my pleasure to honor outstanding performances in social sciences. This year's winners of the David Orr Social Studies Award are Miko Essex and Maya Girard. The SES Science Award. The Science Award is in recognition of students who are enthusiastic class participants and are able to actively pursue scientific inquiry through both a hands-on and intellectual approach. The eighth grade students recognized for their passion and engagement in the sciences are Elle McCavey and Rowan Dean Stelvino. Richard Garnett Mathematics Award. Richard Garnett was a former math teacher who taught at SES for many years. The recipients of this award have shown a genuine desire to learn math through the habits of the mind and interaction. The habits of mind and interaction sought by SES mathematics teachers go far beyond the ability to problem solve. Students demonstrating these characteristics show the ability to reason, make connections, produce visual representations, and work through and learn from their mistakes and their stuck points. This year's recipients of the Richard Garnett Mathematics Awards are Rachel McLaughlin 
and Marina Dunbar. John R. Austin Award. John Austin was a former student who is remembered for his love of writing. The recipients of this award have proven their outstanding ability in written expression. The outstanding and passionate young writers recognized with this year's John R. Austin Award are McKenna Ratu and Jacob Hansen. World Language Award. The recipients of this award are recognized for being outstanding examples of language learners as well as global citizens. They are upstanders in the classroom whose actions contribute to building strong examples of what it means to be a member of an emerging world community. They help others, are open to feedback, and actively participate in their own education by consistently working hard to better their own acquisition of the language that they are learning. This year's Spanish award goes to a student who embodies tenacity, kindness, and the overall spirit of a global citizen. Marin Walsh, I am so proud of you. It is my great pleasure to present the 2022 French Award to Sam Kennedy. Sam has been an outstanding example of what it means to be a language learner. He has shown enthusiasm, perseverance, and curiosity while always remaining kind and positive. So, bravo Sam, et bonne chance. Peter Yankowski Physical Education Award. Peter Yankowski was a PE teacher at SES. He is remembered for his passion for fitness and good health for students. The following students are well-rounded athletic participants and are committed to helping others. These two students have excelled in PE during their middle school experience. They have been active participants, always demonstrate positive sportsmanship, and take pride in their health and well-being. This year's Peter Yankowski Physical Education Award recipients are Henry McLean and Lily Palmer. Band Directors Award. Presented to the eighth graders who have always shown an exceptionally positive attitude, good humor, and excellent musicianship in instrumental music. This year's 2022 Band Directors Award goes to two worthy recipients. Kari Congleton, trumpet player, and Izzy Schwindler, percussionist. Le PCA Award. In recognition of students who have shown exceptional musicianship, which is defined by a growth mindset, support of their peers, and consistent preparation, effort, and focus. This year's Le PCA Award, 2022, goes to two awesome recipients, Anna Dowerman, flute player, and Ava Fuel, keyboard player. Part of the Choir Award. This award recognizes students whose presence in choir makes the ensemble stronger. They demonstrate positive leadership, excellent musicianship, and generosity towards their fellow choir members. This year's Heart of the Choir Award goes to Molly, Sylvia, and Marin Walsh. Julian Music Award. This award is in recognition of students who have shown the most improvement in music or chorus. This year, the Julian Award goes to McKenna Ratu and Gwen Irwin. Golden Paintbrush Award. Students receiving this award reflect what a true artist knows. To be an artist, you work at your craft and you use your art to make the world a better place. All right, so this year, the Golden Paintbrush Award goes to Canute Hohen. Penn Hohen, Ava Fuel, and Adrian Tuttle for all of your hard work and your amazing artistic talents and your positive attitude. Uh, keep on being creative and I hope that you take art in high school and I'm sure you're going to do amazing things in the world of art. Congratulations! Gusmer Caldo Theater Arts Award. Gusmer Caldo was a former SES principal who had a love for the theater and the arts. This award is in recognition of students who have shown highly developed acting skills, both physically and vocally throughout their years at SES. These students are true ensemble actors, enhancing other actors' performances on stage. These students take direction well and add their own creativity to the dramatic process. 
Hi, my name is Amy Riley, and I have the honor of presenting the Gus Marcaldo Theater Arts Award to two fantastic eighth graders. These eighth graders have shown a commitment to the creative process. They are leaders among their peers, and they have a true passion for theater arts. The Gus Marcaldo Theater Arts Award goes to Charlie Schramm and Molly Sylvia. Congratulations. The Peter Lamoche Award. Peter Lamoge is a former SES Middle School student. This award has been given in honor of Peter's overall citizenship and character. The recipients of this award have set a good example for their peers, have maintained a good academic standing, and are courteous for, to students, faculty, and staff. This year, we have two very deserving winners of the Peter Lamoge Award. They are Yvonne Meisler and Joseph Merced. The Jean Milbank Memorial Award. Jean Milbank was a former paraprofessional at SCS and worked at our school for many years. This award is given in honor of Jean's commitment to students and her positive approach to life. The recipients of this award are thoughtful, cheerful, and conscientious in their relationships with both peers and adults. This year's recipients of the Jean Milbank Award being honored for their positivity and conscientious nature are Hebo Dahir, and Brianna Rivera. The Ruth Miller Memorial Award. Ruth Miller was a former teacher who devoted her life to education. Recipients of this award have shown a positive attitude, good humor, and politeness towards others. We have two deserving recipients of this year's Ruth Miller Memorial Award who demonstrate the characteristics that Ruth herself brought to SCS. They are Dash Toda, and Delaney Bosma. The Joan Lennis Community Service Award. Joan Lennis is a former president of our PTO and has served on multiple school boards. Her continual commitment to public education is most appreciated. Students who receive this award have a positive vision of our school, the community, and world. These students have displayed a genuine concern for others and demonstrated this commitment through ac active service in the community. Joan Lennis is a symbol of strength and leadership for the students of our community, and her service to Shelburne in multiple forms continues to this day. The winners of this year's Joan Lennis Community Service Award are Aidan Curley and Ethan Richardson. The Alyssa Pinard Award. The recipient of this award is a student who quietly and without pretense has, through the arts, community service, and environmental awareness or outstanding devotion to fellow students, contributed significantly to making our world a better place. The winner of this year's Alicia Pinard Award not only strives to make this world a better place, but has without question made SES a friendlier, kinder, and better place to come to school. This year's winner of the Alicia Pinard Better Place Award is Jill D. PTO 8th Grade Students of the Year Award. This award recognizes students who contribute daily to the positive atmosphere at school. They have enhanced our school through their positive attitude, friendly disposition, and regular attendance. The SES PTO is truly a game changer in our school community. Their support of this award is only one small example of their commitment to providing new and exciting opportunities and resources for the teachers and students of Shelburne Community School. This year, our outstanding PTO will honor two students for their positive attitude and their outstanding attendance. This year's winners are Ellie Johnson and Freddie Boardman. Van Lee and Nelms Scholar Leader Award. Van Lee is the abbreviation for the Vermont Association of Middle School Level Education. Each year, Van Lee, in conjunction with Nelms New England League of Middle Schools, presents an award banquet intended to give public recognition to middle school students all over Vermont who have distinguished themselves in terms of their outstanding leadership, scholarship, teamwork, positive interaction with others, and achievement of their personal goals. The Family Scholar Leader Award is the closest thing we have to a mission award, and it's why it's always the award that ends this ceremony. The students who earn this award truly embody our highest ideals. They demonstrate outstanding scholarship, but perhaps more importantly, they have shown emotional intelligence, leadership, 
and empathy. They are truly student leaders. The winners of this year's Vanley Scholar Leader Awards are Georgia Knight and Olivia Sears. Once again, I want to thank all of you for joining us for this remote ceremony, and we look forward to seeing you in just an hour's time for our graduation ceremony. I have one last presentation to make, and it's one that's near and dear to my heart. It's a special surprise for our eighth grade students, for every member of the class of 2026. About two months ago, I issued a call to every adult who's ever helped to mentor, lead, and love members of the class of 2026. The parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts, uncles, teachers, paras, and coaches who fostered the growth of this outstanding group of students have once again answered that call. Class of 2026, I ask those caring and loving community members to write you a letter, to write you a note or a quote or a poem, to put into writing the feelings of joy and adoration that they were feeling for you at this very moment. I asked them to submit them to our school so that we could construct fittingly a green envelope for each of you, which would stand as a symbol of just how loved you are and just how appreciated you are here at SES. No matter the number of certificates and awards you gather today, each of you will hopefully leave today with something maybe even more special. While some award certificates may be hastily discarded later this evening after our graduation ceremony, the green envelopes that each of you receives later tonight will be something that you will cherish long after the excitement of graduation from SCS subsides. I want to thank all of you for joining us, if only remotely, for our award ceremony. We'll take a short break before we gather in person this evening for the graduation of the SCS class of 2026. We will see you very soon, and we look forward to continuing our celebration in person together. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high, and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver sound of a love. Walk on.